Good morning everyone. Today everyone we're going over the GoMath Student Journal for Grade 4, the Australian Curriculum Edition, and we're looking at Unit 5.3, which is building down to multiply by 9. Uh, so look at these pictures and complete the sentences. So this we're looking at as we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we've got 3 rows of 10. So 10 times 3, any times you multiply is basically 3 times 1 and 3 times 0. So 3 times 0 is 0 and 3 times 1 is 3. So you've got 30. And to be able to find out how many 9 threes are, you just take 3 away from that. So 30 minus 3 is 27. Now, if you have trouble doing that, you can count these if you like, but the whole idea of this is to show you quick ways to be able to multiply by 9. So we've got write the answer, then use the sentence to help you complete the two 9 facts. So 10 twos are 20. So 9 times 2, 20 minus 2 is 18. So now we know 9 times 2 is 18, and because it doesn't matter which side of the multiplication this, these numbers are on, 2 times 9 is also 18. So then you've got 10 times 5, so that's 50. 9 times 5, 50 minus 5 is 45. 5 times 9 is 45. So it makes it really easy to know what either 5 times 9 is or 9 times 5 is. I'll let you continue on with the next one. Next ones. And again, list all the facts from 1 times 9 equals 1 to 9 times 9 equals 81. So write the answers and see what patterns you see. The nine times tables are very, very interesting and it's very easy to check to see whether or not you are correct with these numbers because if you look at them, if you add the two digits together, they will all add up to nine. But you see what pattern you notice. So one plus eight equals nine. Four times five, four plus five equals nine. Love the nines times table. They're a lot of fun and it's easy to tell whether you've got it correct or not. So if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, or any other easy tricks to remember that you've done the nine times table right, write them below. Have a great day. Bless you.